Hey everybody, my name is Jonathan Poole, and I'd like to tell you a story about something that took me way too long to learn, and hopefully you can use this through your time in UIF and throughout your life. So I've been with UIF for quite some time. I'm originally from 2016, so I'm, I'm really old. Um, <laughs> Which to me is quite a surprise because it's honestly gone by in a flash. It, uh, seriously, I remember being in your positions like it was yesterday. And it's really been more of, I've seen programs change, education shift, I've seen people chase their dreams and ambitions and done great things. Now, over this time though, I've learned that there's many things that I've learned that I wanna give to you. And there's especially one that I hold the most dear and with this, I, I constantly have to remind myself of it. It's something that's really important to me. And I believe it will actually be very important to you as you're very early into your UIF process and being an agent of change. So as humans, we do a lot of comparing and contrasting against all sorts of things. It being success, money, ingenuity, beauty, all sorts of things, right? And this isn't any different for us and myself included. So during my early years as a fellow, I was hell-bent on making something happen and very passionate about it, about making impact happen on my campus, working with people and helping solve problems. I would see them and I could come up with solutions. So let's make it happen. Now, I found my goal initially for my campus, which was basically to rebuild the entire entrepreneurship program that we had. So after about six months of work and a team of six along with myself, we had everything ready to go and we brought it to our academic board. And they were like, yep, we wanna hear it, bring it forward to our next meeting, let's go. So we do that, we give our presentation and they love it. They wanna implement it, they wanna reimagine how the program works, awesome, yes, let's make stuff happen. Or as I like to say, let's do epic shit, right? And unbeknownst to us though, as we're presenting, uh, the business college is cutting our program in half. So we have four programs within ours, four complete degrees. And we found out 30 minutes after our presentation, they're making it two. And every student that's in the ones that are being removed are not finishing their degree. So it sucks. It's something that I still hold very dear to my heart that I was next to the student who bawled her eyes out at that news because she can't finish in that program. And our mission was completely and utterly destroyed after that meeting. So this is something I consider very close to me as uh, basically my biggest failure because I always like to help people. I want to solve, I want to solve things. I'm, I'm a problem solver. That's what I do. It's how I think. And my pursuit to make something, anything happen on my campus really turned into a crutch. It was more of, I felt if I wasn't able to solve a problem, it was a failure. If I wasn't able to overcome something, it was a failure. And this just constantly gnawed at me. And I always felt like I'd never met the UIF standard. So after this whole debacle, I took a bit of a break, uh, and particularly for my campus. So I took about a year off on trying to make something happen on my campus because I was just frustrated. And just kind of collect myself. And I came back to what I love the most, which is the UIF system. I still today, obviously, since I'm here, still do amazing work and work with awesome people such as yourselves, and I truly, truly love it. But I still felt like I was a bit of an imposter because to me, I hadn't achieved anything on my campus, but I was still being asked to do amazing things for this group of people and this, you know, in, even in front of you, such as a talk like this. And I began to think, unfortunately, is do I truly fit? With this kind of brewing in my head to get over this feeling, eventually I, I just threw myself into my work. I'm a very bad workaholic. I bury myself in work to be able to get stuff done. So I threw myself into the UIF ecosystem and tried to make anything happen that I possibly could. Uh, I worked very, very closely with the wonderful organizers that are here that you've met throughout the days, hopefully. And I developed along with them the UI guide system. So if you have a UI guide and you've worked with them, 
I'm their guide of guides, basically. So I kind of help them on helping you solve problems, how to work with it, all sorts of things. And that's, that's my passion project, something I take very seriously and I work very hard on it. But I built the system to be able to help students go through things like I did. But even with that, I still felt a bit empty. So I've been a fab before, I've been on this stage and I'm fortunate enough to be able to come back. And during that first time when I was there, I felt as I was a fake. I felt as like sham, a definitely an imposter syndrome. And during that, I felt as if I was someone who hadn't done anything, who hadn't achieved anything, who wasn't able to state that they had completed something. So throughout that entire time, it was more of, I was on this stage speaking and I realized, do I really have a message? Do I have a right to give you you know, a speech to inspire you? Do I have the ability to say that I have that in me? And I just, I couldn't answer it. And I kept thinking during that night over and over and over, do I have the right to give this? Do I have the right, the ability to say I've done something to be able to inspire you when I couldn't even do it for myself? And it felt off. So during that Ignite though, I realized that much like I am here today, my work isn't to be seen, it's to be experienced. So much like with you, my work is to see you all here. My purpose is to educate you. My purpose is to help you. My purpose is to solve your problems. However it may be, I may not be solving all of them, but I can give you that stepping stone. So over the rest of that meetup in 2018, which is a while ago, is I was completely debacled. I was broken down completely. I was in tears most of that day. And I realized I had been doing a ton of work. I should be incredibly proud of what I've been doing. And I've already seen the fruits of my labor. You know, you get to see awesome people that work with you and help you on stuff, but I never saw it. And I had indeed made change, but I was blind to it. So the UIF community to me holds a very, very, very special place in my heart because this is where I, in particular, I'll, I'll get there. <laughs> Should be incredibly proud of myself, my work. <sighs> so, So after that, I finally let go of my years of hard work, frustration, disappointment at myself. And much like now, I broke down in front of those amazing group of people you can never have. <laughs> These fabs, your guides, your organizers, they love you more than you could ever know. And truly, we really care about you. We care for your improvement, your betterment, everything that you can achieve. We will always be there. So I tell you this story for a few reasons, but the most important to me <clears throat> is your work might be hard, it might be challenging, it might be difficult, and it'll wear you down. But my goal is to help you see yourself and see how you have grown and improved. So throughout life, we move forwards and backwards, right? We have ups and downs. No matter wherever the road takes you, you should be happy about that journey and yourself. Sometimes our ability to make change is simply within ourselves and a select few people. Embrace it and be proud of it. No, so thinking back for me, as I try to collect myself, is there's something I should have asked myself in particular when I was on this stage last time is, and it's something I wish to really propose to you all, which is how can you be proud of yourself? Thank you.